Yeah, Dick Rochford here in the M600. We're setting up for the localizer. Cat 13 is four miles from Hicks and Turnlock. Runway 20. Zero. Maintain 3000 until the localizer clear to ILS. Runway 20 uh, approach. ILS this time. Just for training purposes, so everybody knows. Wass is more accurate and more stable. Marion County for parachute operations. The second pass is 17,500. November 0, Yankee Papa, turn left heading 020. This will be a short vector for the sequence. Left 020, Yankee Papa. November 221, Bravo November, Chattanooga approach, I didn't say altitude. Yeah, in fact, for the sequence, it's important to remember that the magenta Three line. Number one, Bravo November, radar contact. The MFD miles, represents uh, a GPS course. course. November 446, Echo Romeo, to try to follow 11 o'clock, four miles turning south. The green needle on the HSI two. represents the localizer. Romeo, follow the Texan 2 and uh, contact tower 118. Well, they're incredibly. Uh, lined up, Will. They're, they are two different signals. So if we're going to be flying the ILS, of course, we have to have frequency contact tower one one eight point three in the com and proper ID here. It's one more step. We have to change the local. Zero Yankee Papa, base turn here at about uh, two miles. Zero Yankee Papa, copy. We have to be sure, even though it's automatically done, that the nav one is displayed here so that when we activate the approach we're using the ILS signal not the GPS signal since we've loaded the localizer that's going to be done automatically November 0 Yankee Papa turn right heading 110 and uh, just when able to start reducing the final approach speed right 110 reducing and now we have slower traffic in front of us so we're being forced to slow down, and I realized that we could ask for better spacing on the vectors. Uh, one of the things that's difficult to do in a turbine is to bring power back below a preset value and then uh, manage your speed at a, at a target speed while you're changing pitch attitude. Captain Macy's doing a fine job here. We were asked to be at or below 170. Now with 600 pounds, we should be able to hold uh, about 130 knots, clean level flight. Remember now that's pretty close to VA ice penetration. And once we get on the approach, it'll be uh, real easy to get to the 120, 120 knots. Yankee Papa, four miles from Daisy, turn right heading 170. Uh, Maintain 3,600 until established on the localizer. Clear to ILS runway 20 approach. Right 170, 3,600 until established. Clear to ILS 20 approach. Yankee Papa. The line's alive. Contact Memphis Center 128.15. Good. Line's alive. Good. And for the viewers, note here the white dashed line, which is our track line. That, of course, has to be uh, pointed toward the course or we won't intercept. Once the localizer arms, the aircraft makes the turn. Note that altitude is blinking. That means it's capturing. Once it captures the glide slope arms. And when the glide slope centers, we'll move on to go down, gear down, notch of flaps. Which way? Straight ahead? How low? For now, 3600. Glides alive. And Captain Macy has extended the gear and the landing zero, flaps. Papa, contact tower 118.3. You're uh, following a Cessna on a two-mile final showing 90 knots across the ground. Copy. Reducing speed and switching 18.3. Good day. Thank you, Papa. Good day. The spacing looks and good. Tower, one, three, we can be right off on park, There's our Skyhawk right in park, there. Tower, maintenance we'll thanks for all the great help today, sir. Cat one, Anytime. Chattanooga Tower, 600, Yankee Papa on an eight-mile ILS. Uh, full stop. Taxi back. There's your Yankee Papa Chattanooga Tower, wind is 0503, runway 20, clear to land. Clear to land 20, 600 Yankee Papa. Okay. 
Clear to land. Landing light is on for landing. Manual, manual. Lots and lights. Three green. Landing flaps. 120 knots. The 120 is their target speed because it's the top of the category Bravo category. And uh, 